Hello, 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 and welcome to Comrade Lev Plays Victoria 3. This is the Germany run. Um, it's been a little while since we last played this, um, and there has been some updates to the game since, which I haven't really looked into, to be honest. So we can explore together and find out those um, if and when we come across them in-game together. Um, I think one of the reasons why it was left so long is because we've somehow managed to create this uh, bastion of liberal democracy in Central Europe, which really wasn't my intention. Um, but we're stuck with it for now, at least. So maybe we can do something about that. Maybe we'll have to just continue as the uh, as the decadent liberal bourgeois. The don't know. Um, we aren't in the best condition. Nice big deficit um, and uh, a few little problems with an unhealthy economy and uh, low market access, that sort of thing. Uh, that's coming off the back of a defeat from France. We tried to grab Alsace-Lorraine um, and it did not go that well. So let's uh, set about fixing all our problems, I guess. All right, first things first. We've got all highest wages, lowest taxes. So let's just uh, fiddle with those a little bit, shall we? So just brought everything down to the middle. Wages down to the middle, taxes up to the middle. We do lose some bonuses for that bit of authority, but we still still have enough authority to put in a consumption tax for porcelain, which is making a good amount. Um, okay, we're not building. We are making a profit. But we're not building anything currently, and uh, we'll need to do that. So reserves are okay. They're forty-four million in reserves. Let's go over to mechanized farming for our tech, and we'll get a load of railways in. Just to make sure. You need a few. Yep, just to make sure all our market access is okay. Still loses loads of uh, construction capacity. So, what's expensive tools and explosives? Okay. Uh, we've got a load of isolated colonies. We've got ports. We should up them, do we? So, not entirely sure about this. These do all have ports, but maybe it's because the shortage is steamers and oil. Okay. So, let's just move them back to industrial, I guess. Just, just our, uh... Just our colonial, uh... Our colonial ports, we'll move them all to industrial. I think that should help. We'll see, we'll see. Right, and tools and explosives, yes, that's what we're looking at for our construction. And we'll have to put it somewhere we've got the qualifications. And then we also want some chemical plants, yes. Morania, loads of peasants there. Oh, is that too many? Oh well. Well, that keeps building for a while. Let's get the uh, timer running. And we're making money, brilliant. So, just looking at our laws, and the thing I have noticed is that we can pass graduated taxation, probably. Um, and it's actually going to make us a bit more money, another 40k. Uh, I feel like... It never used to. I feel like this is a new thing, because this always seemed to make a bit less than proportional taxation. Um, with my my na na my national makes anyway, but um, let's give this a go. Our infamy is pretty bad after our uh, last foray against the French. So when, once that's come down, maybe we'll start looking at uh, Austria, Bohemia, Slovakia, start eating those guys up. Although I would like our Cessarine. We need a bigger army. 
Right, full construction, and we're making good money. Can I drop taxes at all? Yeah, good. I want to keep that low if we can. Just for radicalism and stuff like that. And the balance, uh, the deficit is back again, I guess. Did I have an investment pool or something? Don't know. France wants to enter into a trade agreement. No, I don't think so. Market access is slowly improving. Are you hiring railways? What have you got a shortage of? Engines. Okay, we can do something about that. Hey, and there it is. Graduate takes action. Uh, it's made us a bit more money, it should do. Radicalise the poor petty bourgeoisie. Don't care about that. Okay, what can we look at next? Workers' rights. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about the minimum wage stuff. Because... Uh, I want my factories to remain competitive, but let's give it a go. We just won't invest in the institution, basically. Speaking of... Yeah, they're all max where they can be. And that's mechanised farming unlocked tractors. Uh, maybe we'll wait until our in motor industries are built, and then we'll move over to that. Let's stick with the farms and get nitrogen fixation next. Right, not a shortage of steel, but it's expensive apparently, so let's uh, go for that next. Okay, let's get some shipyards, because we need some more steamers. We'll put them over in East Russia. Um, I'm tempted just to build some farms, to be honest. Wheat farms, where we've got loads of peasants. Let's just stick some in Bavaria. I uh, just want to get rid of some peasants, really. And I'm having a little bit of problem with qualifications, so let's get some more universities down. We'll spread these out. Don't necessarily want that in the Congo. Eh, why not? Oh, that should be enough. Hopefully, that's not a crippling cost. I have to pay for all those professors. And there we are workers' protection 50% minimum wage. Okay. And there's a new election. The industrialists and the armed forces want to join. Do I? I can't reset without bringing everybody in. So the armed forces and the industrialists, which is going to tank my legitimacy. So let's just leave that as it is. Good balance, though. We're building lots of things. Good balance there. Switzerland keep offering us a defensive pack, but they've got literally, you know, four soldiers. You know, ten battalions. Not interested. I think we can reduce taxes again. Yeah. Oh, we're making loads. Alright, let's get wages up. 
That gives us enough for another consumption tax. What do we want? Luxury clothes? Yeah, why not? Again, I think we can raise them. Yeah, fine. A full building queue. Shortage of fertilizer. And engine still, because we're building so many more railways. Okay, right, get a few more motor industries. Somewhere where we've got peasants. And I think for fertilizer, maybe we'll build livestock ranches. Try and get rid of some of these peasants. Okay, and new technology, great. What do we want? Production or what? Ah, malaria prevention, definitely. So that means we can up our we can get our colonial investment, institution investment up to max. Um, and the other thing we haven't really done since looking at now is just checking all our production methods. So can't up the fertiliser because we don't have enough fertiliser. We can't up that because we don't have enough engines. We're building to do those, but let's look at what else we can do. Oil's the other thing. So, the best engine, the assembly lines rather than the rotary valve engine, is going to use oil, which we seem to have enough of now. Let's, well, let's take furniture up and see what happens. Yeah, that's going to be loads, though, if we do it for the tool workshops. Loads of them. Right. Yeah, that's going to cost oil. Mechanised slaughterhouses, we can do that for more meat, fine. That just costs coal, which we can always get more of. Okay, that's malaria researched, so we can go to, yeah, Max Colonial Affairs Investment. And it started the scramble for Africa. Uh, really, I think this just... Um, brings us into conflict with all the other colonial powers, basically. Which makes sense, I guess. Do we want to end the slave trade? Yes, we do. So, are there places we can colonize? Yeah. Good. And what do we want to research next? A film for just a bit more prestige. We are hot on the heels of France for number one rank, but they're just edging us out on prestige there, so maybe that'll help us beat them. Uh, okay, so an officer has intentionally provoked a confrontation with Peak. Okay, despite instructions to keep the peace, oh, we can just go with it. Can we invade them? Right, where is? Are you on our border? Yeah, you are. All right, yeah. Let's invade. That's good. So that's just war straight away breaks out. We don't have to have a... Is there anyone actually in Africa? No, <laughs> none of my generals are. Uh, I'm assuming we would have to send hundreds of men. Let's just send the poles. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. They've got one soldier there. We need to get on that front before... Oh, God. They're still travelling there. 
Yes, okay, they're there now. So, what else have we got here? Uh, our rubber plantations aren't great, okay. Okay, and because we have worker protections, we can uh, minimise the damage there. Pipeline. Yeah, I mean, I like the oil. What does that just give us more infrastructure there? It doesn't give us more oil. Very cheap, though. Okay, and having lost nearly everything in Gabon here in the Congo, we're now pushing back with our 50 battalions. That's fine. They want to fight, they'll get it. So this just clashes with the Russians in Gabon. No, the Russians have been arming our na the natives. Okay, so I don't mind being aggressive on this. So this last time I did this, Scramble for Africa, it was giving me loads of infamy. But this doesn't seem to be doing that anymore, so that's good. Okay, that's Tiki Teke. Uh, invaded. A bit scruffy, to be honest, because we just didn't have any soldiers in Africa. Maybe we need to look at that if we're scrambling for Africa now. Are you going to give up? We've literally got you entirely occupied. There we go. War goals enforced. Yep, we've just got them. Can we build anything more interesting now? Rubber plantations. Fine. And the... I don't know if... It was the uh, one war that's done it, but we've Ling shot past France in the prestige rank. We're number one. And what do we want for laws? Should we get an old age pension? We've got the money for it, I think. We're making loads of money. Let's try and change our, our you know, our liberal democracy to a social democracy a little bit at least. We'll have a Cred of grave, at the very least. More rubber plantation atrocities, not good. So, okay. Women want the vote. Uh, Louise. She's the leader of the trade unions. Okay. So that'll change her over to a feminist. Oh, that's because we unlocked political agitation, presumably. Oh yes, we don't have women's suffrage. So I guess once we've got Sister Shikuri out of the way, we'll see how this does and then we'll go over to women's suffrage. Now that, yeah, she's a feminist. Okay, cool. It's weird that she's... I mean, she's the Chancellor already. So there must be some rights to women there if she <laughs> women's my Chancellor. But I guess maybe she's, you know, the exception rather than the... Hey, it's not the same person. It's not the same person. But they're both members of the trade union, so the Chancellor, okay. Yeah, that's Teresa. And that's Louisa. Yeah, we're row with Great Britain. That's fine. Uh, and my the intelligence here guy is also a feminist. He's an ally, girls. He's an ally. Alright, even more prestige. Great. Let's go with mass propaganda, because I think if we just get a little bit more authority, we can put another consumption tax in. Not that I need it desperately. Right, so will it pass? Old age pension? Yes! Great. And I think we'll do the same thing as we did with uh, workers' rights on the minimum wage institution. We'll keep them on just on their first level. Uh, stop the economy spiraling out of control. That's what happened in my Russian game. Um, but I don't know if they've balanced it since, as I say, there's been updates, so maybe they've balanced that, but let's just not mess with it right away. And let's have a look now at women's suffrage. Yeah, 45%. The trade unions and the intelligentsia are up for it. Uh, it's uh, The armed forces don't like it, but not enough to worry about. The church and the Yunkers, we don't care what they think, they're marginalised. So to win this, we need seven or more unincorporated states, apparently. 
uh, will fail if don't really get that if we haven't incorporated states in Africa are they incorporated our states in Africa let's have a look no they're not oh god we've got loads we need to incorporate here though how have we not done this Half the bloody country. Echo's revolution. So, oh, so, so this is the intelligentsia guy's just going to flip back to radical. And this is it, where radical is like liberal radical, isn't it? Yeah. Well, fine, you're in government, so I don't mind you being popular. Let's uh, piss off the Yaka, I guess. Are they on my border. Can't see him. Ah, uh, Bohemia here. I don't think they've actually got the state of Bohemia, is it? No, it, that's Morovia. Yeah, that's Bohemia there, and that's Morovia. The Germans there. You South Germans and Czechs. Right, I think I want to build some barrackses. Let's build some in Cameroon. South German Cameroon. That's up here. Yeah, why not? We need some guys there. We'll put some in the Congo too. It's population it. Uh, good. But the peasant situation seems to be helping out. I guess that's all the livestock farms we built. Has that helped for fertilizer yes it has we now need glass apparently okay let's build some glassworks oh there's more pomerania i feel like i'm building lots of pomerania okay and do we have enough fertilizer that we can switch over our farms no that will create input good shortages what about the tractors Yes, we can. Can you? Apparently so. Right, the suffragettes march. Yep. Good. The protest must be heard. It's a lot of money to spend. I think we have to do it, though. We want one of the suffrage to pass. Still make that still made the success chance go down, but not as much. Oh look, I've been really blind. That's why my income's doing so bad. Look, or part of the problem at least is that I guess bringing in social security there is tanked my bureaucracy. So we're getting loads of tax waste. So we just need to stack a load of government administration. Yeah. Guess what you do. Spread it out. I know you're not always meant to do that, are you? Because you lose the efficiencies, but... But it makes some sense, because at least you can keep your taxation capacity up in all the areas. Oh, no, this is annoying. Normally you'd be able to... This is super expensive money-wise, but normally you'd, if you had a bit of bureaucracy spare, you could just spend, like, a really small amount of bureaucracy. Uh, but we don't have any bureaucracy to spare, so we'll have to get lower growth speed. That's not good. And again, another hit to women's suffrage. It's only on 10% chance now. Right, we've got loads of diplomacy. 
Let's just keep relations up with the major powers, shall we? We're doing France, doing Britain, doing Russia. Do we care about anyone else? America? Uh, we don't want to... The Austrians, they love us. Okay, so we can either get a guaranteed 10% success chance, or we can risk it. Two-thirds chance we'll get 20% success chance, or minus 10. Uh, let's risk it. No! <laughs> we lost it. Okay, 1% chance passing women's suffrage now. Not good. And we really need to get out of this bureaucracy deficit, because... It's really hitting our growth speed in the colonies. Uh, we're building, we're building, we're building... ...stuff there. Yeah, we are. Okay, so this isn't going to pass this time, I'm afraid. We'll have to stop that. Uh, we'll try again in a bit. Do we want to do anything else in the meantime? No, nothing else in the meantime. We'll just uh, wait a little bit and try again. With women's suffrage. The people of Germany are not ready yet. Uh oh. New party formed. The Nazi party. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, is that the petty bourgeois, presumably? Yeah, of course it is. Well, everybody else, well, apart from the marginalised, wants to join that. The, lib the rainbow coalition of liberals. No communists still. They're pretty, uh... They're pretty weak. I don't think we need to get the authority to suppress them. Well, we did lose a war against France. So perhaps not too much of a surprise. Ah... Anti-alcohol policy. Apparently, schools of thirsty voters flocked to the Nazi party. Uh, we'll have to do that, I guess. They'll get plus ten, and we'll get minus ten, rather than they get plus thirty. I think that's a net win. We'll see how they do in the election. Right, we need even more government administration, I think. We'll try and centre that in Brandenburg. Glass and tools. Okay, we can do stuff about that. No qualifications there. All there. Ah, uh, so here are the infamy ones. Okay, so this says give up or not. In the Baltic. Fought in infamy. And or we withdraw from the Niger Delta. No, I think we'll... We can take the infamy. But I did want to use that to go to war, but... Oh well. Oh, this would be good. Okay, look, we can... Uh, the petty bourgeois will go to radical. Yeah, let's do that, but reduce his popularity. Uh, presumably that will stop the Nazis. And this is clashing with the French in Africa. Okay, we'll do that as well. It's more infamy. But it's still looking okay. 20. Okay. Oh, look, we had an election. I completely missed that. Uh, all looks good to me there. Fine, let's leave that as it is. Alright, a bit of an authority deficit there. Can we... What's our lowest... Luxury furniture isn't given... It's given us about 20k, so let's... Uh, get rid of that. Just try and reduce that deficit a bit more. Oh, look, yeah, we can do loads more colonisation here. That's fine, stickle them in. 
And then I sort of want to just declare war on Congo. Eh, no rush. Oh, here we go, we've done it. Scramble for Africa successfully completed. This is only the beginning of the German Empire. A place in the sun, 100 prestige. Fine, that was... Done? Fine. Alright, paper's expensive now, not surprising with all that. All those government administrations we built, so... Paper mills, hello. We're running out of peasants. Which I guess is sort of a good thing. Okay, that's mass propaganda, which has uh, got us out of our uh, last little bit of debt. Oh, it's good for our enactment time, okay. What else do we want to go with? Yeah, I don't need... Maybe military we need to look at a little bit. Yeah, concrete fortifications. Uh, bureaucracy's back in the green as well. That's all good. Most of our problems are done with there. Uh, what I really want to get achieved... Rights for women. Votes for women. So let's try that again. Yeah, 38% chance. Uh, I think... Was that it? I don't know what I just clicked. Had it passed? Yeah, we passed. We did do it, but I was just clicking too freely and I completely skipped the, uh, the pop-up. Okay, great. So next time we get an election period, women will be able to vote. Brilliant. Okay. That's a good achievement. That's a good achievement. Um... I'm sorry, I missed the... <laughs> I missed the pop-up, sorry. Right, so... I mean, that was the... That was one good achievement for this episode. I think we can't really go an episode without trying to take a chunk out of the Austrians. They've got no conscripts, 600 professionals, and we have got... 800. Is that enough? Is that enough? I think we could do... with just giving ourselves a bit more of an edge, because who knows who else will join in. So let's get a few more barracks there. And maybe when they're built, we'll have a look at the Austrians. Because although Bohemia, Slovakia look a bit smaller, they haven't got Germans. They haven't got any Germans in their states, really. A few, few in Bohemia. You've got none. But if we look at South Tyrol, 95% South German, and Slovenia, 66% South German. So I think we want to take them too. Good stuff going on here. Are there any interesting buildings I can build here? Nothing. Desperately want more rubber plantations. Yeah, you know what? You're gonna need a railway. You're gonna need a railway. You're gonna need a railway. Okay, that is all those barracks is built. They didn't take long. Okay, so the French are too hard, so let's uh, pick on our favourite punching bag. We need to declare interest there, do we? Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we definitely want an interest there. Just let that embed, and then we should be able to declare for... Not yet, not yet. Okay, yes, so now our interest is embedded there. We can look to conquer... State of South Tyrol. Not a lot of infamy, I guess, because it's, yeah, it's a target homeland for Germany. Great. Uh, lots of other countries might get involved. Let's see. Let's just reduce the speed slightly. I'm not very good at doing that. So we do want, uh, they want a treaty port, do you? We want, also want to conquer 
Slovenia. Lots of infamy there. Yeah, well, we want it. Nobody wants to join me. And they've rivaled us. A bit late for that. They're fearful. That's good. Okay, that's the escalation phase now. Ugh. Italians. Don't have a separate border with them. That's good. Ha ha! They gave up! Ha 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 Austria back down. Yielding the primary war goal to us. So we got South Tyrol with no fight. They still get Slovenia though. Okay, what's here? Yeah, barracks a few wheat farms, literally nothing. Okay. We'll put you a couple of railways. And we better check. You haven't messed up our buildings. Yes, you have. Everything there. Glass works too. Okay, our infamy is yeah, twenty-five, not outrageous. I mean I would like a fight with Austria, so can we try again? No, we've got some sort of truce with them. How long? Five years. Boo. All right. I'll be like, take Bohemia then. Or do we dare take on the French again? I mean, we've got a much bigger army than we did last time. We've got a much bigger army. I would like Alsace Lorraine. It's meant to be German. They're rivals with a lot of countries. Austria, Britain, Italy, Russia. So maybe nobody will help them. Right, let's try it. Oh, we can't. We're improving relations with them. We're cordial. Cordial or above. Okay. Stop improving relations. Begin damaging relations. Can't we expel diplomats or something? Yes. An infamy. Yep, so we can do it. Straight away. It's more infamy, but... Uh, we've managed to uh, pivot on our diplomatic approach to the French immediately and let's uh, yeah our army's so big compared to theirs I think maybe they'll give up like the Austrians did do we want any additional war goals liberate Corsica um <laughs> Uh, no, don't worry about that. Treaty port? No. Take French Gabon as well. That's good. That'd be good. Do we make them pay war operations? No, we don't need it. And maybe if we've got enough uh, space for some war goals, maybe we can get the British in or something. The Americans are sided with France. I don't think they've got hardly any soldiers here. They've got nobody. But nobody wants to side with me at all.
The Netherlands have sided with France. Okay, well let's take a chunk out of the Netherlands, shall we? Uh, are any of these like... Yeah, it's got... Mm. Oh, goddamn Austrians. You bastards. They're rivals of France as well, so they're just... Oh, we need to set up our fronts, do we? Oh, we might need more generals. Right, let's just make sure we're defending everywhere. Defend there. Defend there. Defend there. Defend there. Need to recruit some more generals. Absolutely we do. Yeah, we, we can get loads more soldiers. Right, Congo. I think one will do in Congo. Promote him. That's annoying, there's another front there. The Americans. Shouldn't have done... Should have had two generals there. Oh well. Right, North Germany. Why can't you have any more soldiers? Two defending on that front. Right, we're going to send a load of boys over, more boys over to Africa, I think. If they start travelling now, they should be there in time. Got Technically got no more vulnerable fronts. Hundred more North Germans to send to the lines, okay. Okay, let's see what happens here. Looking green on all my fronts. I think they're just defending. They've got a bit of both. 
They're just defending. They could probably advance because there's no Dutch on that border. 16 anyway, not worried about that. No Americans on that border, but we've got 100 Poles turning up. It'll be fine once they get there. <laughs> France back down, and it's caused them to have a revolution. Brilliant. Okay, so we don't have to do that expensive war. And we have Alsace-Lorraine. Brilliant. Uh, really good. Yeah, half German, half French. Good industry there, I guess. Some good stuff. Lots of coal mines, iron mines, as if we need more of that. But we've managed to humiliate the French. Uh, we really have, indeed. Because we've, they've immediately split into civil war. Um, and no expensive war for us. Uh, Austria, I won't forget this. Netherlands, I won't forget this. America, you too. You've got your own stuff going on. Okay, so with uh, with uh, women suffrage um, completed, I mean we've got the law, but we doesn't like like we've had a haven't had an election since. Uh, so that'll trigger as soon as we have an election. But fine, we've done we've passed the law, and with the French humiliated and avenged from the last war. Oh, of course, a chunk taken out of Austria too, without a fight. Both of those without a fight. I mean, I guess my army is just big enough that they'll. Uh, they'll always back down to me. Um, maybe we'll make more use of that next time. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.